you guys. Welcome back. And, uh, I think we're gonna do something a little differently today. Um, normally, I'd just log into my Let's Play World, no problem. But, you know, we could really go for something new. I mean, it's always fun, and I, I'm not gonna stop the Let's Play. I'm definitely gonna keep going with that, and I'm very soon going to move and find some place else to move, because I've got a cool idea for a big building, a <laughs> big nice house thing. And I want to see that through. So, um, I'll definitely keep up with that. I just want to start up a hardcore mode, um, on the side so that, um, I can't type and talk at the same time. Um, I want to start a, let's, a hardcore let's play on the side just as something else to do. Um, for more entertainment. It'll give me more stuff to put up keep things varietal. <laughs> It'll keep things varying. It'll, you know what I mean? Okay. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm not gonna put in a seed or anything. Um, if you guys want me to pick a seed in the future so that, you know, for whatever reason, I mean, I don't know. Uh, the hardcore worlds, once I do, once I die, I'll start up a new one. Um, so... That way I can go around in lava. Alright. I wonder why we spawn in trees lately. That's that's really weird. Um, this way I can go around and do whatever. And then if I die, it'll give a new world, new terrain, new everything. Um, I'll be able to start over. <clears throat> I think that's an interesting mode of gameplay that I, I don't usually do. So I figured that would be a good, in a good idea for... Um, videos. I would I would um, put up Terraria videos, because I love that game as well, and they just put out a whole bunch of new content. But a lot of Terraria is just grinding. Like, you start out with your basic tools, and then you just have to get better tools, and the only way to do that, really, is to dig around for hours on end, and that can get kind of boring. Um, because I put in, like, probably a good 30 hours in the past couple days on Terraria. And again, while I think it would have been fun, it's just, well, fun for me at least, I feel like you guys get bored with it. I mean, maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. But, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like the best game for recording. But, if you want it, I can always do it. Um, we got some wolves here, but I don't have any bones, so just don't fall in the lava, and I'll come back for you later. Alright? Alright. They're gonna fall in the lava. They? I, I mean, he's gonna fall in the lava. I don't know if there aren't... Oh, there's another one over there. Yes, yeah, so there's a few, but... Okay, so I've got a little wood. Um... I don't know why I'm doing this in a tree, but, you know. You know me, I'm weird. Get my... Pick... And it looks like there's water right over here. Okay, let's see. Where did I spawn? I spawned right over here somewhere, like, on one of these. I think it was on that tree. Um, neat little island. Yeah, so hopefully I won't be dying anytime soon. And, you know, it'll be interesting to see how long the... Ooh, that skeleton. It'll be interesting to see how many episodes I can pull off on one, because the reason I started this is because, um, Rolf David, um, a guy who plays Minecraft and stuff, I'll link to his channel in the description or something, or maybe I'll put up a, an annotation. Anyway, um, he did a hardcore mode, uh, let's play thing, and he lasted uh, about an episode and a half, uh, if that. So, like, I think his first episode was like 10, or 12 minutes long, his second one was three minutes long. <laughs> And uh, he was he was setting challenges challenges for himself, which I like, but I don't know. Oh my god! <laughs> well, it looks like a house is going in here. Oh my god! House is definitely going in here. <laughs> Get back! Spider spawner immediately. Not only that, but it's like open to the air. I need to actually get away from this because I'm gonna die if I try to fight all those spiders. Um, just grab some stone. No big deal. 
Um, cats. One more. There we go. That's enough for a sword and a pick. Which is what I want right now. So. Yep. There we go. Take this with me. Bah! I right clicked and left clicked at the same time. <sighs> Get a little twitchy. Uh, you know, sometimes I really wish that I could play this in full screen, but I don't know how to record it full screen, so. Because I've been playing Terraria a lot, and that's been in full screen, and. Oh, more lava? Really? I don't want this forest to just burn to the ground. I don't know how. Here we go. Just plug it up with dirt. Stop. Okay. Um, and with these episodes, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try to put two 10-minute episodes together and make 20-minute episodes. Um, because as it is, I feel like the videos are just way too short. Um, I, I will have to pause in between. And this is just an awesome mountain, isn't it? We've got a cave right here. And, oh, jeez. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm making a mountain house. So, <laughs> that's for sure. Um, I'll try to keep the adventuring. Uh, I'll try to keep this let's pl this uh, hardcore mode, Let's Play, strictly to adventuring. So that there's no stagnation where I'm just sitting here grinding, digging for materials, whatever. Um, so, wow, beautiful view. And yeah, the spider sponge is like right underneath me here. Uh, which is interesting. <laughs> um, to say the least, there's a skeleton in there. Actually, is it a spider spawner? I assumed it was a spider spawner. But, I don't actually know. Wow, I didn't take any damage doing that. Hi, skeleton. No, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, no, I think it's a skeleton spawner. It's definitely a skeleton spawner. Alright, no, 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 dang it! <laughs> okay. Well then. Um... That didn't go so well. So, uh, let's... Let's make another one. Man, I wish I had that seed, though, because that was... But, you yeah, know, see, that's the thing. You don't want to... I was talking to one of my friends about this. Um, well, one of you about this, actually. And, um... The thing about hardcore mode is that you, you lose everything when you do it. Yep, what? There we go. I accidentally clicked off. Um, I'm doing this on a laptop, and I accidentally hit the mouse pad thing. Um... The point about hardcore is that you get what you get, and if you lose it, you lose it. So I'm not going to go and take the seed and keep it, because um, I feel like that just kind of defeats the purpose of the, the hardcore mode, you know. And I mean, I've had situations before where I get an awesome world and then I end up deleting it for various reasons and and then regret it later, but that's okay. So I mean, look at this, we're right in a swamp, got both colored mushrooms immediately, and a ravine, so that should give me tons of iron. Like, already I can see two things of iron and a bunch of coal. This will be an interesting world, too. Um, don't worry, I'll find a... I can't believe that was a skeleton spawner. <laughs> right off the bat, just started the world, and there it was. And I can't believe I lost it, because I'm stupid. <laughs> like, I was trying to hit F3 at that last minute there, but, um... To see if I could get the seed, but... Especially because, you know, some of you guys might want it, but, you know, it's alright. Um, what are you going to do? I mean, I probably shouldn't have gone and ran in like that, but, oh well. What's done is done. Um, so yeah, it's, obviously, normally I don't play that risky. I guess it's just because I'm talking to you guys. Um... Normally, I'll be careful and make armor first before I do anything like <laughs> attack a dungeon. Um, or at least have some food on me so that I can... Well, you know, food doesn't do what it used to, but it, it's still useful. Um, and I'm going to have to pause in a second and render out this video and then try it again. And ooh, a village right away. It'll give us a lot of wheat, even though we've got tons of mushrooms now. Um... So I'm going to have to pause the video in a couple seconds and render it out and then record more and then render that out. And yeah, 
so I will be right back in just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, that was me stopping the old recording and starting a new one because my computer can't handle more than 10 minutes of recording. Um, if I get into like 11 minutes, I get terrified because it likes to just destroy any and all evidence of the video I've created. Um, so now that we're back in here, uh oh, and it's nice to have another 10 minutes because I always feel like there's just not enough to do. I mean, not enough time to do what it is that I want to do. That's how I feel when I talk. Alright, nope. Jumped into a tree. Okay. So, this deep cave. Um, I just saw this and decided that it would be a good idea to come down here and get some materials. Because, hopefully, it'll connect to that ravine. That, that was this world, right? That ravine? I think it was. I don't know. Dude, I don't pay attention. Um, let's see. Well, we've got plenty of stuff. Yeah, I need my... Did I hear something there? Oh, I doubt it. My sound should be, like, all the way down. So let's just... Just don't pay attention to this. Okay. Um... Because I was watching YouTube videos and playing Minecraft, and the YouTube videos weren't loud enough, so I turned down the... Or, Minecraft was too loud, I should say. So I turned down the volume. Um, so yeah, I think this should be fun, um, because I know my favorite part of Minecraft is getting started from the very beginning, um, when you've got nothing, and you just gotta run around and fight to survive, because once I've got armor, it's like, the game is laughable. Um, they need to do what Terraria did, and find a way to make it incredibly difficult, once you've gotten to a certain point. Um... Because, I mean, if you've never heard of Terraria, then it's a great game. You should get it. Um, it's, a lot of people call it a 2D version of Minecraft, and I've, I can't say that I've never done that. But um, once you start playing it, it's really a great game. Um, and it's not really like Minecraft, because unlike Minecraft, the tools never break. So it's more um, of a an upgrading thing. It's like a an equipment-based RPG kind of thing where you don't it's not so much like Minecraft where you know you run around and do whatever there's specific goals like get better equipment so you can fight bosses which give you better equipment so you can fight more bosses and then eventually remove the corruption or try to at least I've been trying for a long time it hasn't worked very well but nonetheless um whoa lag spike um uh, so yeah uh it's it's an interesting game and you should definitely give it a chance, especially if you, you know, thought, oh, Minecraft, I've got Minecraft and Terraria is just a cheap knockoff of it. Well, it's not. You should, you should just give it a chance, play it. It's great. Um, especially if you've got, like, a friend who has it, so you can mooch off of them and play their version. Um, but yeah. So, more mushrooms, another cave over here. So this should be fun. And it'll give me more of the excitement of getting new stuff, setting up a home and everything. Because, yeah, the game just, once you get to the point where um, you've got diamond tools, like, especially once you've got diamond tools. But with me, usually, once I've got iron armor, um, the game is just too easy. And no matter what happens, it's just like, oh, well, nothing can kill me because I've got iron armor. And... I mean, I don't think that they should go back to the way that they did it before, where they, um, where armor ran out almost instantly, because that was awful, and they should never go back to that, because armor was almost useless. But they should, because having, like, 75% damage reduction, um, almost immediately is really kind of silly, because it's like, nothing can kill you. Even fighting an Enderman with a stone sword should not be that easy. Um, like, I think they need to increase the amount of health things have, and then, oh, phew, I thought it fell in the hole. Um, and then setting a, a farther distance between the, between the damage values on the, on the different, uh, material tools, so that wooden, uh, wooden tools, or weapons, at least, do almost nothing, and then stone swords do slightly better, then iron swords would actually start getting to be useful, and then 
um, finally diamond swords would be actually like a, a decent chance to kill something. So, you know, because it's, I don't know, like it's too easy for me to build up a shelter and armor and awesome tools and then just not have a problem. Because night comes and I can just hide out inside or in my mine or whatever without much problem. I can still stay busy all all night without being in any trouble. And it's just, it's boring. Like, even on hard mode, which, I mean, on hardcore mode, which is defi which is why I'm playing it. Because it gives me that, you know, where you know that if you mess up, then it sucks. But... I mean, I guess that just encourages me to play more cautiously than I did before, which is what I'm trying to get away from. I don't know, which is why I said I'm going to try to keep this place, this world to adventuring. Like, going down and trying to find diamonds at lava, and, um, instead of just, like, no strip mine, or no branch mining or anything. And, does this go all the way over to the village? I think it does. It's going to be strictly, like, if I want material, if I want something, I mean, maybe I'll build a small farm. There's not going to be much redstone things here, because this isn't about the survival. This is about the the excitement of knowing that everything's going to go away if you die. Um, you know, so it's it's not about the end. It's about the journey. So, yeah. Um, interesting cave. Giant cave directly beneath the village. <laughs> this is a weird village. Um... So, this should be fun. I'm thinking it'll be um, fun to watch as well as fun to play. I I could be wrong, though. Let me know if I am. <laughs> um, I may also start a little redstone tutorial thing because, you know, it, it, that'd be fun. I think so, at least. Um, just because, I mean, so many other people do it as well. But, I don't know. Just because... What can it hurt having an extra one? You know? Um, it's not much in this village that appeals to me, aside from the wheat. There's not much in any village that appeals to me. Oh, right. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to say, I, I have downloaded the 1.0.1 um, pre-release kind of thing, but I'm not using it right now, because I figured it would be better to wait until the actual release for that update. Um less stuff will break, and, you know, it's it's just much cleaner. Um, so, yeah. And, uh... I'm gonna try to get down this hole here. This ravine. I don't know how, though. Oh, maybe I can get in through one of those caves over there? Oh! Or I could do that! <laughs> Never mind, we're in. Um, sorry about yelling right there. Uh, I was a little surprised. <laughs> Didn't expect to fall in that. Um, so, yeah, I'm sorry if the commentary is a little stagnant right now. I've used that word twice in a short amount of time, and now I feel silly for saying it. Uh, I'm just trying to get into it here. Um, make sure everything's known. You know, you know what's going on. You know what will be going on. Um, this is a new thing. Just, like... I'm doing this because I, I need more stuff to put up. Because I've got my, my Let's Play, right? But that's... It's one Let's Play. It's... Even putting it up often, I feel like people will get bored of it quickly. Just because of the fact that it's all one thing. And I'm going to try to make that well-rounded... Um, kind of world. Where... It's... The whole thing will be... A lot of different things. Like, I'll be building, I'll be doing redstone, I'll be adventuring and whatever in that world. So hopefully that, you know what I mean? So I'll, I'll be doing a lot of different things there. And then this one will be mostly adventuring. And I suppose I might even start up a creative world that I just build stuff on, um, just for the fun of it. But I don't know. Um, maybe not, just because I like to do things legit, and I, f I always feel like, creative mode is just cheating if you're building something. It's like, it's much more oppressive when you know that the person has worked um, really hard to get all the materials and everything that they need for it. But yeah. Um, so this is about the end of the video. Uh, 
I will try to stick this onto the end of the last video and put them together and upload that into a 20 minute video, which I should be able to do because there was a thing saying, hey, you want to be able to upload longer videos? Do this. And I did it. So, um, like right at the start, I did that. So, hopefully, that'll work out fine. And if not, then there'll be two separate videos. But, you know, oh well. Um, so, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.